In a developing story, lights and lanterns with special messages illuminated Claremore Lake this weekend, each placed there in remembrance of a lost loved one. This is part of the fifth annual Illuminating Hope Christmas Experience from Light of Hope. Fox 23's Kaylee Carnine talked with organizers to learn more about their mission this holiday season. Right now, there's a lot of white lights on this tree, but soon it will be lit up with these colorful lights, a special way to remember lost loved ones. So pretty. That's a cool idea. Twinkling lights, the colorful ones representing those who brought color to life. The Claremore nonprofit Light of Hope is a group that helps people struggling with addiction. But Executive Director Nancy Phelps says this group is here for anyone in the community this holiday season and beyond. The holidays are a special time. Uh, we love being together, um, but there's a lot of people that don't have anybody to be together with, so we are that family. Jennifer Timberman is one of those people who says she feels like she's part of the Light of Hope family. Saturday, she placed a light in honor of her father, who passed away three years ago after he was killed in a hit and run. He could take you to Sunday school any day of the week. Um, he always had a great corny dad joke, um, and he also was, uh, in his hobby, he wrote songs. Christian songs about after he came to the Lord and got born again and everything. And so you'd find him sitting, strumming his guitar, singing songs. This is her second year here. She says her father was involved in Light of Hope and going to their groups. He struggled with chemical dependency due to chronic pain. She says Light of Hope stepped up to help her family after he died. It's not just the charity side of it. For them, it's, it truly feels like when you interact with them, it's a calling. It's, it's something that they were called to do. and. They answer that call for the community, and it's irreplaceable. It really is. Curtis Welch agrees that this organization is irreplaceable. He says he was addicted to drugs for 45 years. He says he got out of jail on a Thursday and walked into the Light of Hope building on a Friday. He had no idea he was walking into a new life. In his 60s, he learned to read and has been sober for over two years. Not learned, not known how to read has kept me in the dark. You know, uh, my whole, like I said, if you don't let go, you can't grow, you know, and that's what I've had to do. This holiday season, as these lanterns and lights glow, the people here want to offer everyone a light of hope, no matter what season of life you're in. In Claremore, covering news that matters, Kaylee Carnine, Fox 23 News. Such a great thing. Light of Hope holds the Illuminating Hope Christmas Experience every Saturday in December. It starts at 5.30 p.m. at the large shelter near the ranger station at Claremore Lake.